Welcome to the Gym RPG Show. This is a channel about gaming news and gaming analysis. Nvidia had their next generation Ampere GPU announcement this week, and they said they were going to be launching with three new products, the 3090, the 3080, and the 3070. Now, a lot of other channels have covered this information already, so I think it's going to be more interesting for us to cover what Nvidia didn't announce. So in this video, we're going to be joining the dots and filling in the gaps on what NVIDIA might announce so that consumers can make a better decision on what they buy. Now, just a quick word to say that I'll be using information that is publicly available online where possible. And I'll clearly state when I'll be speculating on possible new products because I don't want you guys to think that I'm just making up rumors. All right, let's go. Let's start from the bottom. We know from a leak six months ago from Cat Corgi about the chips in production. The 3090 and 3080 represent GA102. GA103 looks like it's cancelled for the time being, and the 3070 has been revealed as a GA104. If $499 for the 3070 is out of the budget for you, consider waiting for either the 3060 or possibly the 3050. The 3060 will probably be a cut down GA104 chip with about 36 SM units, which will give approximately 2070 super level performance. It can't be the GA106 chip because that would represent similar performance to a 2060 super. So expect to see a 3060 with 8 gigabytes of RAM, some SM units disabled, and 2070 super level performance for around about $349. The 2060 Super retailed for 399 MSRP, but during this period of intense competition from both AMD's RDNA cards, as well as new consoles launching, expect Nvidia to throw customers a bone and drop it $50 from previous generation. This section of the market is a huge battleground for mindshare and competing fan bases, and I think Nvidia will want to squeeze AMD as much as possible. That leaves the 3050 as the GA106 chip, which according to this leak will have 6GB of RAM and be on par with a 2060 super level performance. The 3050 will be a great 1080p card, while the 3060 will be a pretty good 1440p card, though I think the 3070 would be a much safer bet if you want to see out the whole generation at 1440p. If I had to guess on the 3050 pricing, it would be about 10% less than the 3060, so that puts it at around $299. Let's talk about the 3070 Ti Super. There's a leak from Lenovo on their website on a possible 3070 Ti and 3070 Super card with 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Now this seems to be pointing to these cards being the one and the same GPU, just that the naming convention is probably made up at this point. In the end, I think Nvidia will go with just calling it a 3070 and you'll be able to get them in two variants, an 8GB or a 16GB version. This will slot nicely to the lineup where the 3070 8GB will be $499, the 3070 16GB at $599 and the 3080 10GB at $699. The question is why didn't Nvidia just launch or tell us about a higher VRAM version? And one reason I can think of is that reviews and discussion online will be most favorable if there's no ifs or buts. With a higher VRAM choice, this could often cloud judgment and comments could easily make the 3070 seem like a $599 card. Once initial reviews are out of the way, we'll start to hear more about the higher VRAM variants. The 3080 also had its own rumored higher VRAM variant of 20GB, though news of this has been pretty quiet on this front for the past few days. I don't see this as being too expensive as this will impact possible other products that Nvidia may launch and the extra VRAM in the 3070 will most likely be $100 extra, so expect the additional VRAM on the 3080 to be about the same. AIB prices also tend to vary wildly anyway from different fan variations to RGB bling so they'll find other ways to eat your dollar. So we finally get to the point of the video where it's mostly speculation from here on out. There's a big price gap between the 3080 at $699 and the 3090 
at $1,499. And there's nothing Nvidia likes to do more than to fill in price gaps, because if they don't, AMD surely will. I think at a minimum we'll get a 3080 Ti, which will be 5% less than a 3090 with no NVLink capabilities. And this card will be Nvidia's ace in the hole when it comes to competing with whatever AMD comes out with, and if they can actually compete at that level. Much like the 3080, this could also come in two variants, an 11GB and a 22GB version. The 3090 would still be useful for professionals and enthusiasts that absolutely need as much power as possible with NVLink, which allows two cards to be hooked up for much better performance. But if you're an RTX 2080 Ti owner, and you were wondering which card to upgrade to because the 3080 wasn't a compelling deal, I'd say the 3080 Ti would be the one to consider. So to recap, Nvidia came out with three cards, the 3090, the 3080, and the 3070. But you can also bet that Nvidia will come out with a 3060 and a 3050. Rumors from a few months ago revealed the possible GPUs in production, and these rumors still stand. The 3060 is probably going to replace the 2070 Super, and the 3050 will probably replace the 2060 Super. There's also going to be higher variants of VRAM in the 3080 and the 3070 cards, and these will be 16GB and 20GB. Finally, there's a big price gap between the 3090 and the 3080, so expect there to be a 3080 Ti. That could be like past 80 Ti cards, that's 5% less performance than the top card and costs a whole lot less. That's it for this one, leave some comments down below so we can get some discussion going. And like this video if you like it, and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more gaming news and analysis like this. And I'll see you in the next one.